you're no longer sort of dealing with a random sort of natural process. You're you're now now um, there's a human being making a decision um, what a child is going to be like. And there's always different programs and stuff on TV that you'll see that'll be promoting this idea of designer babies and whatnot. And this could be the future and on and on and on. Yes. So um, these ideas are being brought into sort of the mainstream and people are getting used to the idea that you're going to be able to prevent the disease. I mean, it's it sold as this great thing. But as soon as you hand over um, your ability to reproduce, again, this is sort of the dependency, like with food. Um, you, you lose your own independence and you lose um, any real say in what's going on. How do you really know which um, DNA sample was taken and which egg was chosen? You're, you're doing that on blind faith. Mm. An expert has spoken and told you this is going to be your healthiest choice. Mm. So again, you... you um, become a, almost a mental slave to this expert who's telling you this is the way things are. And that that's a big problem that, um, maybe that's a little off topic, but it's a big idea and a big part of our problem is this dependency on, on expert opinion. Yes, yes. You know, I, I totally agree, and that, that is a very good point to, to bring up as well in this context because I think that... Um, a, a structure like this or a society like this or... or you know, at least as, as things seem to be heading, uh, I think that that only can come about because of people's, uh, you know, dependency on a system like that. that they, they can, you know, scare up a population enough to go along with it, or they can slowly, with increments, train people to, to go along with it. And and it's, it's a double-edged, you know, sword, so to speak. It's it's on one aspect we understand that there is a certain type of structure organization to to society in order to you know live together there's administration there's uh, bureaucracy things like this of this nature and inherently these things are not bad i mean these are things that define us you know as as to some extent uh, a civilization if you will but yet at the same time our dependency upon those things can so easily be um you know manipulated and 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 taken advantage of if you follow me yeah, exactly. We, um, the idea of um, experts sort of telling us everything that we believe, um, you, you kind of see it everywhere. Once you you start to question a couple of experts, I guess you, you start to see when that card's pulled. I guess it's sort of a propaganda tool, I suppose. It's just all of a sudden, it's oh, such and such a person with such and such a title said this. Yes. Okay. Well, that's great, but. Anybody with um, who's not credulous would say, "Well, so what? I don't care if you have a degree and whatever. It doesn't mean you're right." Mm-hmm. It's usually the opposite. But um, you, again, you, I'm trying to get to the point where you see this sort of popping up everywhere. And one of my favorite examples is anybody's had the misfortune of watching a State of the Union speech or something like that. <laughs> right after that happened, so the president or whoever will give this big speech. The minute that ends, they have experts telling you what you just heard. Yeah, that's interpret right. what you just heard. Yeah. I mean, it's absurd. You just watched it yourself. You need them to tell you what the guy just said? Yeah. I mean, it's ridiculous. Mm-hmm. But that, that's a way of training us to get used to that. And it's a way of giving you your ideas. So instead of you watching someone give a speech um, and interpreting it yourself and saying, well, why did he say that? Or what did he really mean by that? And actually thinking about it, these Usually, if not always, they give you this sort of dialectic. There's this left wing and this right wing guy, and they will tell you what you're supposed to get from that speech. Yes, they tell you what your opinions are, and people will regurgitate those. The next day, they'll be talking with their friends, and they'll be saying that this guy said this, and this <laughs> is what I think of it. But it, it wasn't even really their idea; it was just given to them. Yes, and I mean that's really. Really, really scary if you think about it. It's, it's it's almost like they're taking a piece of your soul in a way. They, you, I mean, your ability to process information, making judgment for yourself, all these things that you know makes you kind of well. It's a, the way you interact with the world. Even that is being taken from you, uh, and, and it's being uh, you know you're being injected with 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 something else. It's uh, 
It's really scary. <laughs> it is, and it's um, it, it is a big part of sort of who you are. But it 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 essentially makes you a child. Um, you lose your critical thought and your own judgment, and that that's part of growing as as an adult and developing some wisdom and some some understanding of what's going on around you. When you become dependent on somebody else and dependent on somebody else's views, you, you're a child. You're not an adult. Yes. And, and that's sadly that's kind of what you see all around you is grown children at times. Indeed. <laughs> Absolutely, I couldn't agree more. Uh, and 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 I mean that's that's where all of the I mean we, we began this program and asking a little bit what you know what's what's wrong with the world you know basically <laughs> and and this is I I feel a, a key piece of of that puzzle uh, that uh, you know we we are on this planet where we're you know things could be wonderful here things could be great yet we have ended up in this situation where we're being trained in school and managed in in different ways and back and forth in order to give this privilege, I guess, to a few what they would term chosen ones. You know, they they they've set the structure of society up and now they're they're harvesting the fruits of that, so to speak. Uh, and and yet at the same time, all of this comes about because people are not either they're scared to take responsibility for their own lives, or unfortunately they could just be so indoctrinated from day one. Uh, that they 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 never kind of experience this or or never kind of develops the urge to to think for themselves and uh, and and that that's the downside of this of course you know that that many people are I mean they are behaving like sheep as you say they are children and yet they wouldn't be if they were just allowed to get the opportunity to grow as a normal you know human being that's that's how I feel uh, I I agree it is it's tragic to see because there is so much potential within the, the human being or the human species really as a whole and we have so much potential to do so many wonderful things but again you look around and the state that we're in is, is kind of sad 